Hello, everyone. Uh, let me move my fish. Uh, I uh, want to welcome you to our interview uh, with uh, our Uyghur friends in Kurdistan, um, uh, Central Asia. And um, uh, these are friends of mine. I, I met them when I was in Kurdistan over the uh, summer months. Uh, we have uh, Shahia and uh, her father, Abarechem. And uh, so we're going to uh, uh, conduct a little question discussion um, uh, series. Um, this is under uh, the auspices of Legal Studies uh, and Debate Club. And uh, we also have a couple of our members here. Uh, we have Azrish. Uh, Azrish is a, a regular um, uh, attendee of our club. Uh, and also we have Marari. Uh, she is one of our executive board. Hi, Marari. And we have Lewis, uh, who is uh, presently at work, but he is uh, also attending. And um, so, uh, we are doing this um, uh, presentation for uh, Holocaust. Um, oh, and by the way, my name is Shandy, and I am the faculty advisor to Leo Studies and Debate Club. Um, we are doing this uh, interview discussion um, for um, Holocaust Memorial Committee. Uh, and uh, during our Holocaust Memorial Week, uh, we will be uh, airing this. Uh, I'm co-chair of the Holocaust Memorial Committee. Uh, and what we do at the Holocaust Memorial Committee is we look at different um, issues around the world. Uh, of course, we do um, emphasize the Holocaust of, of, um, of Europe during World War II, uh, but we've expanded out to Rwanda, uh, to uh, Cambodia, so on and so forth as well. Uh, and uh, and uh, the Uyghurs uh, of the People's Republic of China, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, are facing uh, great challenges uh, in the People's Republic of China. Uh, and so uh, Shihi and I became friends uh, uh, she was my tour guide for Silk Road Treasures Tours uh, mm -hmm. in Kurdistan. And we became good friends and we agreed to uh, that we would uh, discuss the Uyghurs uh, because there are many Uyghurs that are in Central Asia. Uh, uh, because uh, for those of you, again, unfamiliar with the map of the area, China does uh, border uh, much of Central Asia. Uh, the uh, Western provinces of the People's Republic of China. Um, and uh, you go, you know, it's like you use Pub People's Republic of China um, because uh, 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 China is a communist country. Uh, and as a communist country, you always get people. So when you see people, you know, it's a communist country. Okay, that being said, uh, are we good uh, to uh, go on our our interview slash discussion? Yes, you hear? Uh, yes, Abraham. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you okay. guys have a pronunciation wise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, we have some questions, uh, and um, uh, first of all, please explain what a Uyghur is and what is your cultural background. Первый вопрос, кто такие уйгуры и какой у нас, ну, какая у нас культура? Уйгуры – это древнейший тюркизичный народ. Уйгуры – это древнейшие тюркизичные люди. Уйгуры в основном живут в Синдзян, в Уйгурском автономном районе. The most population lives in China. А уйгуры называют свою это, родину Уйгурстан mm -hmm. или Восточный Туркестан. But our people, we don't call uh, our country China. We call it Уйгурстан. We call, because we have our uh, separate autonomic republic. We don't like to call it China. 
Oh, uh, and, and, and what we're what we're referring to here is that those Western provinces, Xinjiang province of China. Mm -hmm. But and what mm -hmm. do you call it again, Shihia? Uyghurstan. 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 Oh, we, 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 or, or, uh, Uyghurstan, like Kurdish Uyghurstan. names, they're Kurds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how or we call it uh, East Turkestan. We also call it East Turkestan. Yeah. Wow, I did mm -hmm. not know that. So you call so that whole Xinjiang province area you actually call Uyghurstan. Yes. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. you, now, I'm sorry, this leads to a different question. But were you like Tibet at one time, separate from the People's Republic of China? Uh, because Tibet, as we know, was taken over by the PROC and is now a province of People's Republic mm -hmm. of China. Of course, the Dalai Lama fled to India. Um, but um, so was Uyghurstan originally separate from the uh, People's Republic of China? Раньше вообще территория это была отдельная от Китая или? Да, раньше было отдельно. У Уйгуров было свое государство. Ah, we had uh, before we had our own uh, government. И... Ah, but, uh, в, в том месте. Да, вот, вот, который сейчас Синьян Уйгурский автономный район, это который мы назвали Восточный Туркестан, Уйгурстан. Mm -hmm. Китайцы захватили Манжур Китай в 1759 году. А, ah, it was our territory and in uh, um, 17 каком? 1759. In 1759 uh, the Chinese people they uh, like they attacked occupied our territory. А сейчас uh, вот, 17, 1759. Amazing. Oh, now. Вот uh, from that moment, uh, we are occupied by Chinese. By China. <laughs> by right. China. And, and of course, at that time, it was just China because it wasn't communist at that time. It was 1949 is when uh, the People's Republic of China was born under uh, Mao Zedong. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Кстати, yeah. mm -hmm. китайцы после завоевания территории уйгуров, китайцы дали название этому землю уйгуров Синдзян, новая земля. Mm. After uh, when they occupied the territory, uh, Chinese people called this territory Синдзян. It means uh, the new land. Ah, like so Синдзян now it means the new land. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. interesting. Wow. So По заниженным по заниженным оценке китайские это они занижают численность уйгуров. Сейчас численность уйгуров на этом земле mm -hmm. Уйгурстане, в Уйгурстане около 30 миллионов. The population in Xinjiang is 30 million people, but China they like to make it lower, like they say in like that we are less, but but uh, the actual population is 30 million. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, they always uh, like to decrease the population of Uyghurs. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Sounds a little bit like the Kurds in Turkey. Okay. And mm -hmm. with, with Kurdish gang. Wow. And, um, so that leads to uh, another interesting question. Um, mm -hmm. In the West here, we hear that one million Uyghurs have been, uh, are going through, air quote, re-education in the People's mm -hmm. Republic of China. Uh, does, is that an accurate number or is it more? Um, Обучение этих уйгуров в этих лагерях говорят один миллион, а вообще это с какое количество? Больше или меньше? Вообще китайцы постоянно уменьшают вот это арестованных от места. Нет, нет, она спрашивает, что вот общее количество вот этих лагерях один миллион людей нет, на самом деле. Гораздо больше. It's more, more than one. Okay. Yeah. I, I had to ask because. Yeah. When when a country deflates a population, uh, or they 
uh, changing numbers elsewhere. Okay, all right, <laughs> fabulous. Uh, Marari and uh, Ashish, do you have any specific questions right now on this top, uh, right now? Okay, all right, lovely, all right. Fab, fascinating, 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 fascinating. Okay, um, in Central Asia, okay, uh, because um, obviously your migration came from Turkey uh, and went um, uh, east, right? It, uh, from Turkey into Central Asia uh, and Central Asia, uh, Uyghur gang, we'll call it Uyghur gang now, mm -hmm. um, in uh, people in the now the People's Republic of China. Um, so how's life for Uyghurs in Central Asia? Central Asia, например, Central Asia входит такие государства, как Казахстан, Узбекистан, Таджикистан, Кыргызстан, Туркмения. Уйгуры вообще представлены во всех этих государствах mm. Центральной Азии. In Central Asia we have such countries as Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, yeah. Turkmenistan and Kyrgyzstan. And Uyghurs live in all these countries. Но right. больше всего уйгуры проживают mm. в Казахстане, Узбекистане и Кыргызстане. Mm. But mostly they live in Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, because you're closer to that Chinese, that uh, Uyghur yeah. gang of, of old. With yes. now, uh, now, 1700s, when P, uh, PROC took, well, actually, when China took them over, uh, uh, Uyghur gang over, um, uh, was, um, was Central Asia part of that area at that time or that was all was all russian correct at, uh during that time uh because the central asian countries were were part of the soviet union up until 1991 mm -hmm. correct correct yeah right. so uh so we were always uh uh was, was central asia area always under russian control Всегда Центральная Азия была под контролем России, ну или до, как, в каком мы... Вообще-то Центральную Азию Российская империя захватила полностью в середине 19 века. Uh, the Russian Empire occupied Central Asia in the middle of 19th century. Ah, okay. So before that you were, you were in uh, independent countries. До этого мы были независимы. До этого, например, это Центральная Азия, например, Средняя Азия, существовали ханство, тюркские ханства, mm -hmm. Бухарский Эмират, mm -hmm. Каканское ханство, Хивинское ханство. Mm -hmm. Before we called not like government, we call it uh, hans, hans, Какан хан. Хивинский. Хивин, Хивин хан. Бухарский. Мен Бухар хан. Oh, uh, you were uh, different uh, autonomous areas, okay, right? A different, uh, a different area, but not necessarily with central government, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, mm -hmm. how are Uyghurs treated in uh, uh, Kazakhstan, Kurdistan, uh, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan? Uh, are you? Uh, do you feel you're part of society, of, of, of regular society of these areas, or are you, um, uh, do you face any type of discrimination? Как уйгуры живут в этих странах, в Казахстане, Узбекистане, Кыргызстане, есть какая-то дискриминация к нам или нет? Нет, в общем, уйгуры, которые живущие в этих республиках, к ним отношение... Ну, хорошие, никакой дискриминации нету. 
Mm, no, we don't have any discrimination. They uh, they treat us equal, like good uh, good relations with all people. Yeah. Потому что мы казахи, узбеки, киргизы, уйгуры, они тюркоязычный народ. Because all these uh, people, Kazakh people, Kyrgyz people, Uzbek, Uyghurs, we are all uh, like from one root, Turkish people. We are all from Turkey. And that's why we don't have uh, any like uh, bad feelings to each other. Fabulous. That's the way, you, uh, my, in my humble opinion, that's the way the world should be. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have any... Uh, uh, Fabulous. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good news. Good news. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, so what type, uh, so basically occupations, everything is, is open to the Uyghurs in Central Asia. Basically, if you wanted to be a uh, part of government or a doctor or a tour guide or whatever, everything's mm -hmm. open to the Uyghurs in Central okay. Asia. Все ну, открыто для уйгуров. Они могут работать в любой сфере, доктор, да, и, да, уйгуры, могут, уйгуры могут, но, но здесь надо говорить о но. Когда советский период, уйгурам был ограничен доступ в некоторых должностях. А вот сейчас, когда все республики живут независимо, is Uyghur is possible grammatical mogut robots? During during Soviet Union, uh, it was actually difficult to work in some good area, in good parts. Like for, uh, yeah, because they stopped uh, and they said like they had some limits to some people, you know. But now after independence, uh, yeah, we can work anywhere, depends on person. If he studies well, yeah, he can work anywhere. Fabulous. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to go back to Soviet Union. Did the Soviet Union, um, uh, 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 discriminate against Uyghurs, or was this throughout Central Asia where they had they said uh, everyone couldn't do certain things? В советское время это была дискриминация только к уйгурам или вообще к разным? Ну, это дискриминация было не только уйгурам, но и которые репрессивным, например, к народам Кавказа, например, чеченцы, балкарцы, которые это, Кремль, Сталин, выселил в 1944 году страны Центральной Азии. Mm -hmm. Вот им тоже была дискриминация. It was not only Uyghurs, but uh, Caucasus people, you know, like Chechnya, like this. Uh, in uh, in 1944, Stalin uh, he repressed these people. He sent it to all the parts of Central Asia from from their lands. Yeah. Oh, so mm -hmm. he didn't like a Chechen. He didn't like Uyghurs. Balkans, Dagestan. Dagestan. Ну, кавказские народы, Кокос, Кокос people, yeah. которые были выселены в 1944 году по указке Сталина mm -hmm. в страны Средней Азии. In Siberia, mm. yeah. Yes, um, it's true. Yeah, so okay. true. Um, that's why maybe uh, we have such many people here because during Soviet Union, the people who uh, were oppressed, they were sent to some like maybe bad, like uh, poor, uh, poor places, something like this. That's why we have a lot of people here. We have Russian, Kyrgyz, Kazakh, Uzbek, Caucasus, Uyghurs. Here you can uh, meet anyone. <laughs> yes, I know, and I love it. Yeah. I love diversity. Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love diversity. That's so great. Okay, yeah. Um, I know um, we just follow Islam, uh, and um, uh, for our uh, listening uh, audience, uh, uh, do you follow Sunni or Shia uh, Islam? Уйгуры сунниты или шииты? Уйгуры по направлению сам, они сунниты. Yeah, we are Sunni. 
Yes. Okay, wonderful. I want to get the audience to know that. So briefly, um, uh, here in the West, we hear uh, Sunni Shia all the time about, you know, Iran Shia, blah, 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 mm -hmm. Sunni. Um, briefly, a uh, couple of sentences. What is the difference between uh, Sunni and Shia? What is the difference? Ну, вот, например, у сунниты признают первые четыре халифа праведными, законными. Сунни, mm, they consider first four uh, халифы. Кал Калифс, uh, the, the yeah. right one. Да. Yeah. А вот сунниты, в отличие от сунниты, mm -hmm. они по почитают только Али. А троих они не считают. Они считают, что это незаконно. Они, mm -hmm. э, ну, заняли тут трон после... Mm -hmm. Пророка Мухаммеда. Они considered only one caliph, uh, uh, caliph Ali. They, uh, they consider him the right one. The others three they don't consider. And we have difference in prayers also. Like we are praying a little bit different at different words. Вот что ты считаешь? Из халифов четвертый был Али. Они считают, что ну должен быть первый это халифом должен быть Али. Они так считают. Uh, they said like we have like four caliphs so sunni they uh, they uh, uh, they know that each caliph has has a right but shia they they said that the first caliph should be ali okay. so only yeah. this difference yeah. 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 yeah different little bit different in prayers yeah. and yeah yeah you know if uh and correct me if i'm 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 wrong but from my understanding the, uh, the Shia caliph was a descendant of Muhammad, and, mm -hmm. the, and the Sunni caliphs do not necessarily have to be direct descendants from Muhammad uh, to mm -hmm. be uh, religious people. Am I correct in that interpretation? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I just want to unpack that a little bit for our listening mm -hmm. audience. Terrific. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Um, Oh, uh, one of our questions from one of our, our members. Um, are Uyghurs um, open to marriage outside of, um, out, of the, out of the religion or outside of the culture, or do you tend to uh, marry within your culture? Uyghurs can marry on other nationalities? Yes, in the 21st century, in addition to the past years, Uyghurs can marry on other на другой национальности, еще от, зависит прежде всего от семьи. Yeah, it was before, maybe it was not allowed, but now in 21st century it's, uh, it's easy. It depends on the family. If the family is modern, yeah, enough, like they don't, like they don't care. Depends on like son. For example, uh, my brother, he is married not to a Uyghur lady, he is married to a Russian lady. And my parents, they're modern, yeah, they don't say anything. Even they have different cultures and different religions. We don't say anything. My parents, uh, they, uh, they're they okay. But my relatives, for example, my aunties, they were, they said, oh my God, he's, uh, he, he's married Russian lady. It's not good. He should marry only Uyghur. How you uh, like allow it? Yeah, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm presuming she's Russian Orthodox in her religion, correct? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. And, yeah and she believes in her, like, I mean, yeah. uh, she's doing... In uh, Kyrgyzstan, many international families. In Kyrgyzstan, we have many international, like, families, like, mixed yeah. families, yeah. Good for you. I, again, I love it. I love it uh, when the cultures interact, and, yes. uh, uh, I mean, I, I just love that. I, I'm... I give me a well, she here knows me. Uh, I just yeah. love diversity. Okay. Let me mm -hmm. check in with our group here. Marari uh, and uh, uh, Ashwish, um, do you have any questions or are we, am I doing okay? Okay, I have yeah. a thumbs, I have a thumbs up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and some of these questions are from them, so uh, I'm just happy to be moderator. Okay. All right, here we come to your big show. Do you have contact with some of the Uyghurs 
in the People's Republic of China. Есть у вас контакты с уйгурами, которые живут в Уйгурстане, ну, в Синдзянском? Ну, к сожалению, уже, уже более 15 лет мы не имеем контакта с родственниками из Синдзян уйгурского автономного района. Unfortunately, we have relatives there, like, but like more than 15 years we don't have any contacts with them. Because it's uh, strict there. Really? So... Mm -hmm. Но они в порядке? Так, ну они в порядке, но они нам дали намек, что мы им не звонили. Потому что их допрашивают, зачем, что, почему они звонили, для чего и так далее, и так далее. For, from the governments, like why we call them, what do you want from like from what, them, like this. So what, they don't want any troubles. What the kind of political Chinese questions? This is the, the policy of China. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, they're, they, but they're living outside of these re-education uh, areas, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, but they're not in the camps. So, unfortunately, our relatives. И родственники моих знакомых, товарищей, вот, вот, из разных городов, уйгурских городов, находятся так называемых центры перевоспитания. Mm, yeah, so we have uh, many people who we know, and the relatives of our friends, uh, they are in this, yeah, in no, these places, in these camps. Ну, no, они китайцы, mm -hmm. китайцы называют центры перевоспитания, а в самом деле это концлагеря. Туда насильственно арестуют, там находится колючей проволокой. Mm -hmm. Yeah, China call, is, call it like educational places, but in real life it's like a prison because uh, they have all, uh, all things, so you cannot run away. Yeah. Их воспитывают в китайском духе, изучают китайский язык, культуру, поют китайские песни. They force them to study Uh, Chinese language, uh, they force them to sing Chinese songs, uh, to, uh, like, to study Chinese culture. When they are like free to, to come out from these camps, like they're already not uh, healthy enough. And then after some time, they just die. So, ну, короче говоря, страшно. So basically, they get brainwashed. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we also hear, because uh, again on our uh, news, you know, I watch PBS, BBC, um, Deutsche Welle, whatever, and because I like to watch world news, and but we see when journalists try to approach these re-education camps, quote, quote, mm -hmm. um, that they're stopped by uh, the uh, people, PROC police, and they can't go near. Um, are the individuals, besides being brainwashed, are they being subjected to uh, physical um, uh, Uh, out of torture or or I don't want to use torture, but physical abuses. Physically, mm. как-то там, ну, ну, обижает этих. То есть в этих лагерях, если, например, человек подозрительный, его пытают, применяют различные пытки. Mm, yes, if uh, if the person is suspicious, uh, so they make torture. Yeah. То есть унижает человеческое достоинство. Last typical uh, 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 indoctrination is that either go with the flow or or you're punished for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Wow. Um, Okay, the so, uh, role of women in Uyghur society, uh, is it the same as men or is there equality or is there um, uh, uh, 
basically when you marry, you have to stay at home or um, or tell us a little bit about women in legal society. Oh, uh, tell us a little bit about women in legal society. Are you equal? When you're married, you have to stay at home. Uh, uh, are there arranged marriages? Uh, tell us a little, about, a little bit about women. Ну, о женщинах хотят узнать те же права ли мы имеем, как мы сидим дома, или мы можем работать, или заставляют ли нас в это выйти замуж. Нет, абсолютно. Сейчас в данное время уйгурские женщины не ограничены в правах. Если у, у них есть способность работать, например, в бизнесе, или на культурных учреждениях, или в госучреждениях, пожалуйста. We have the same rights. Uh, if we want to study, we can study. If we want to work and we have abilities to work, we can work. There is no problem. And also it depends on family. Some ah. families, they like old traditions. Maybe they say to their daughter, no, no, don't study. You just uh, need to marry only. And that's it. Depends on the family. In my family, I <laughs> said, my family is modern. My mother and father, they told me, you go study if you want to study like that. I've... Depends on the family. Yeah, but we have uh, the same rights like men. We can do business. Uh, we can work anywhere. Anywhere. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. M music to my ears. I'm sure music mm -hmm. to my, to everyone mm -hmm. else's ears. Okay. Now, um, last is um, um, your father publishes a legal paper, correct? This is what I understood when we were, uh, when I was in the yes. term mm -hmm. Um, Please tell us a little about that. And um, uh, is it available uh, on a, a, a elsewhere besides tourist game? Вот расскажите о газете, которую вы печатаете в Сингре. И за Кыргызстаном тоже возможно читать, найти, да? Так, наша газета была основана 1994 году. Mm, it was founded in uh, каком? 1994. It was founded in 1994. Oh. So since then. У нас есть uh, 1989 Переводится как единство. Uh, единство. Uh, the translation is... Uh, <laughs> I forgot the yeah. translation, yeah. sorry. Uh, <laughs> is that, is that in, in Bishkek? Uh, because uh, when yeah. everyone was speaking to uh, Shihia and her father for, in Bishkek, Kurdistan. Is that in Bishkek? Yes, it's in Bishkek, yes. My father, he's... Who uh, uh, is Yeah. Заместитель главного редактора газеты. Uh, he's Это deputy uh, uh, deputy chief, uh, like deputy of uh, the second hand of chief, like this. Oh, cool. wonderful! Uh, of main chief, yeah. And also your father, uh, as I am, uh, he teaches in a university, correct? Uh, вы вы еще в университете работаете? Да? Я я историк. Я магистр политических наук, работаю в Бишкекском государственном университете. Yes, he works uh, at the university and uh, Bishkek, uh, Bishkek State University. He's um, uh, he uh, teaches uh, history and politics science, and then uh, he's also the master of uh, political science. В этом году я поступаю. Докторантуру uh, учиться. This doctor. year he wants to study for a doctor. He wants to get. Oh, very good. Do yeah. it. Tell him to do, do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. political science was my undergrad, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So uh, fabulous. Let me check back with the group here. Uh, okay, uh, Marari, Ashwish, do you have any questions, comments uh, to Shahi and her father? Did we cover all your questions that you had? Yes. More One. on the, the genocide, what, the, what happened to you guys? The genocide. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. your youngest son. Ashworth is from India. Uh, and uh, so um, was that a question, Ashworth? Uh, more about on the, the rights, the crimes. Oh, the, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're 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 all so fascinated by uh, what is happening with the Uyghurs, uh, Shihia and and um, Abraham, and so um, uh, so I, I'm so happy that we were able to uh, do this interview. Uh, and I thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. Uh, and did you want, uh, did you want anything to hear about him? Um, говорит, спасибо за интервью. Он говорит, у вас есть какие-то? Я, yeah, есть у меня, вот, вот, есть в конце моего интервью. Я хочу сказать от души у, уйгурского народа, как представитель уйгурского народа, сказать спасибо странам Запада, Соединенных Штатов, в Америке, Канада, Австралии за всемирную поддержку уйгуров от геноцида китайцев. He wants to say uh, the big uh, thank you to USA and Canada to the countries of West that they are supporting Uyghurs so that they don't stop to help us. So they so they put it in media so everybody knows what is happening there in China. Вот я еще хочу сказать одно еще. К сожалению, для уйгуров такие мусульманские страны, как Саудовская Аравия, Исламская Республика Иран, Исламская Республика Пакистан, например, Арабские Эмираты, поддерживают Китай, китайскую политику в отношении уйгуров. Это очень печально. Мой отец очень обсуждает, что мусульманские страны, как Саудовская Аравия, Иран, Иран, Пакистан, Пакистан Эмираты. И ЮАИ, они поддерживают Чайну, как они в дружеских отношениях с Чайной. И мы мусульмане, и они знают, как они нас там, и все еще они Хотя они считают себя настоящими мусульманами. И они себя мусульманами, но в реальности они не помогают. Like Еще одно хотел добавить. Mm -hmm. Если бы не поддержка западных государств, США, например, Китай бы еще жестко усилил бы давление Китая. Но они уже немножко боятся mm -hmm. от западных стран, боятся санкций. И за Уйгур получит санкции от Соединенных Штатов Америки. Yes. Maybe, uh, he said, uh, like... There is no support from West countries. Maybe it, uh, it would be worse for Uyghur people. So at ah. least China, like they scared of something. Ah, well, mm -hmm. uh, speaking for USA and I think speaking for our club, it's our pleasure to support you. And mm -hmm. uh, I I wanted to do this and thank you so much, um, both of you, for agreeing to this interview because I wanted to get this information out. Uh, and uh, we want to get this information out of our club. So it's our pleasure. And um, if I may, I'll, I'll uh, as far as the other countries, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, so on and so forth, um, they seem to be like um, willows, the tree like the willow, they go with the wind uh, because um, Right now, uh, U.S., the United States, and Saudi Arabia are, um, are um, uh, at least the U.S. is not happy with Saudi Arabia uh, for uh, cutting their oil cutting their oil production. I don't know if you've got this on the news. It just happened. OPEC cut the oil production, uh, and so yeah, um, we live in interesting times. We'll just leave it there. And, but it, uh, speaking for, uh, as an American, it's our pleasure to support you. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. I, um, I, I'm always, um, and I, and I can, uh, may I speak for our, our members here for the club? I think it's our pleasure in the United States to support the Uyghurs, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, uh, спасибо.
Я еще хочу подчеркнуть о том, что израильские еврейские правозащитные организации поддерживают это, борьбу уйгур за свои права. Потому что они считают сейчас, что случай с уйгуром сейчас происходит, происходило во время войны Холокоста с евреями. Вот спасибо это еврейским организациям Израиля за поддержку уйгуру. He said also thank you to Jewish organizations uh, that they support uh, Uyghur people because uh, they passed uh, the bad, like the awful things uh, before. So at least they feel something what we feel now for our people. Mm -hmm. And this is a perfect ending to this interview because as mm -hmm. co-chair of the Holocaust Memorial Committee, uh, you have to walk in someone else's moccasins before you understand. And because mm -hmm. of the European Holocaust, um, the Jewish people understand what it is to be persecuted. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, if there's persecution anywhere in the world, the Jewish people are there because they have walked in those moccasins. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Gengi. I cannot thank you enough, Shahida mm -hmm. and uh, Abraham. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And Shahida, I'm, I'm going to say this in public. If you ever want to contact, just email me and we'll share a Zoom meeting. No problem. Please. Mm -hmm. Remember, we talked about all, we talked about cabbage kitchen kings when we could get her into her skin. So if you ever need to talk to someone, I'm here for you. And, and so it shows the club. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and after you uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you so much. Спасибо. 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 Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves, please. And she here, uh, please, my door and our club store is always open to you. Please. Спасибо, что вы интересуетесь, болеете за наш многостранный уйгурский народ. Огромное спасибо. Thank you that you are interested with our people, that you are interested with, uh, in our problems. Yeah. Uh, I, you. I, you can't see it now, but I have tears fall, uh, coming into my eyes. I mean, uh, this, is, this is very emotional stuff to, for me. So um, I, I don't like people being downtrodden in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> take care of yourself. Enjoy. Take care. Enjoy. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Go to Svidanya.